let me say this, and this is going to make sense here. I don't know how to fix cars. So I go to someone that knows how to fix cars. I am not going to argue with a person that knows how to fix cars. Why? Because I am ignorant toward the fixing of cars. What can I say that can be right about fixing cars when I pretty much know nothing? I know how to check the oil. <laughs> changing the engine and doing all this other stuff, hey, I don't know how to do it. So how can I argue with a mechanic? This is not how you fix an engine. I don't know anything about an engine. If you have sensitive ears, Perhaps you need to look at another video. So this is your warning here. Because I need to speak about something. Okay. I have been noticing more and more people are contacting me about masturbation problems. Kevin, I don't know why I am masturbating Please help me. Okay. You want the power to be able to resist demons, but you are not willing to do what it takes to be able to do that. You want to stop masturbating, but you are not willing to do what it takes. What are you doing? You are willing to watch any type of TV show or movie. You are willing to listen to rap music, hip hop, rock, all of these different types of music that really doesn't pertain to God. You are willing to hang out with these sinful friends, sinful people, so on and so on. You are not willing to fill yourself up with God, but fill yourself up with these worldly, worldly, sinful things. You have to be godly to combat against a demon, but you are not willing to fill yourself up with things that pertains to God. Are you reading your Bible? Are you praying? Are you listening to teachings or anything that pertains to God? No. So how can you not match debate? Think about that. How can you not sin if you are not willing to fill yourself up with God? It makes no sense. I was telling this one person a while back what to do to change her life. And guess what she told me? Kevin, life would be boring if I did all of that. <laughs> you know, I told you that I was an introvert much more back then, back in the past. And I really didn't want to help other people with things that pertains to God. Because as an introvert, I wanted to mind my own business. And ever since I have been helping people, my Lord, a challenge 
if a person is trying to help you, why not listen? Kevin, please help me. Then I help you. I don't like your advice. <laughs> you ask me for help, then you don't like my advice. That is too strict. What are you talking about? <laughs> that is too strict, Kevin. Too strict. I was told that. I am too strict. <laughs> How am I too strict? You either serving God or you not. You are telling me how to stop something. This masturbation problem, I tell you how to do it. That is too strict. How long have you been trying your own way? For years, right? Have it worked yet? No. I don't masturbate. I don't have sex. Obviously, what I am saying to you works. But I hear this more and more and more that I am too strict. You are either holy or you are in sin. Too strict? What does that even mean? You are... According to your words, I guess you are not strict, but you are not serving God. You are still sinning. So obviously, your opinion or your thoughts on the subject means nothing because you don't know what you are talking about. Too strict? What? You want to stop something, I am telling you how to stop it. How is that strict? You have not been able to stop it. My Lord. <laughs> I pray that this makes sense to you all. How can something be too strict when it works and you are not strict but it doesn't work for you because what you are saying is going to make anyone fail Would you even want my help if you are not willing to listen? So obviously that tells me that you still want to stay in sin. Because if you truly want it to change, you would do what it takes. So that tells me that it is not about being strict. You just enjoy your sin. That's it. You don't want to stop masturbating because you enjoy your sinful life. Because I guarantee you, there are other things in your life that you are doing wrong as well. I guarantee you that. I, man, my Lord, I know for a fact by what you are saying, there are more things in your life other than masturbating that you are sinning with or in. If you want to resist the devil, you have to fill yourself up with God. I tried what you have tried already. I tried many other things other than going to God. And I found out that it doesn't work. 
In order to do things right, you need to surrender all to God. Everything. Until you do that, you are going to continue to have problems. I am telling you. I am telling you. Too strict? What? Let me talk to you a year later. Are you still masturbating? Yes, of course. <laughs> My Lord. This one person, I forget who it was. I forget if it was a woman or a man. This one person said that, hey, I talked to my pastor and my pastor said that I can do this and that. Oh, my Lord, man. What is a pastor? A pastor is a man or a pastor is a human being. Do you believe because a person is a pastor, they are right with God? Are you serious? Are you saying that a person who holds a position in church, just because they have a position in church, do you believe they are doing right by God? Are you serious? If you read in the New Testament, you will find out about the Pharisees. The Pharisees would teach the people about God and stuff like that. They had a position in the church. But you see that they were evil. Your position means nothing if you are not doing right by God. God is looking for obedience. So a person being a pastor, bishop, or whatever means nothing if they are not serving God correctly. When I was in sin, I masturbated a ton. I would have sex, mess with people's wives, girlfriends. I did not care. If, if I was interested in you, Most times, I was going to talk to you, whether you wanted me to talk to you or not. <laughs> I used to, let me get a bit more personal. I used to research sexual things. I used to learn more and more about different things of sex and stuff like that. So I was really deep in the subject of sex and other things. I am trying to tell you. So for me to try to turn to God, it was extremely difficult. I thought that it was impossible because my life revolved around sex. It really did. I put so much time into going to clubs and bars and dating people and this and that and this and that. I placed so much time in that and learning about the wrong things and stuff like that. 
So to quit that, my Lord, imagine all the demons that I had in me at that point of time. I'm serious now. So I know what I am talking about. What And not only that, only if you knew me back when I was in sin. If you knew how I was and to see me now, you would listen to everything I am saying to you right now. I researched... I can't say as much as I research about God now, but I researched about sinful things so much because I wanted to be good at it. Because I used to enjoy being sinful. I know what it takes to stop it. But you are willing to try to do it in your own way when you are weak. You don't know what you are doing. Well, Kevin, you know, I think I told this already, but I was speaking to this one person, and this one person told me that when they get turned on, they begin to dance to get rid of that feeling. Dance. I have no idea how that would ever work. And if it does work, that's like a temporary fix. How can you push off a demon by dancing? Unless I am mistaken. Some people say ice or cold showers. Listen, man. No. No. If you want, truly want, to stop your masturbation problem, you need to fill yourself up more with God and learn how to resist. Back in the past, I thought that when you came to God, that God would take away that turned on feeling or that feeling to want to have sex with other women and all this stuff here no <laughs> he does not <laughs> he does not no you have to fight that stuff man but he gives you authority over those demons tell those demons to leave repent of your sins first god please forgive me of all my sins and command the demons to leave, no matter if you have to say that 1,000 times a day, do it. Do it. I resist daily. Daily. Some days are worse than others. But daily. If I can do it, a person whose life revolved around sex and messing with my Lord. <laughs> I used to, let me say this too. I used to teach people <laughs> back when I was in sin, I used to teach people, which is funny because I never saw it in that type of way that I was a teacher back then, but I used to teach people on how to get women and do this and do that and all this stuff here, on how to do the wrong things. <laughs> so I guess I was always a teacher, you know? <laughs> My Lord. So let me stop here. I have told you how to stop it. <coughs> Excuse me. 
I have told you how to stop masturbating. <laughs> now, it is your choice to do what it takes. <laughs> if I was not to seek God each day, in no time, you better believe I will be back into sin. I can't see myself not seeking God daily. There is no way that I can do right if I did not seek God daily or pray daily or do something that pertains to God daily. Because if I didn't do this, I would be back to my old ways like that. When you begin to live for God, it seems like the old things you used to do, opportunities to do those things pop up much more and so much often. Let me not say it. <laughs> and what it comes to my mind, back when I was in sin, I would have to do this and this and that. But now that I gave my life to God, it seems like it is coming down to my feet, like in a much easier way, like where I am not trying to do it, but it comes or I can easily get to point A a lot easier than when I was back in sin. Let's say to make this really easy to understand, to get to point A or to get what I wanted, let's call it point A, it would take me 10 minutes. Now that I live for God, <laughs> like 20 seconds or so, if I wanted to go that route, demons you have to resist so let me stop here you don't have to masturbate even if a demon turns you on you don't have to touch yourself you don't I don't do it do demons place thoughts into my mind to do it? Of course, a lot, but I resist because I am not that way anymore. I have no interest in that. I want to go to heaven, not hell. Think about that. God bless you.